Thank you very much, Craig, for this insightful presentation on the foundation and reasoning of a unified approach to analytics and planning. Um, I would like to cover now for the next 20 minutes uh, a practical demonstration of how this can be implemented in a few live demos and customer case studies. My name is Martin Kratke. I'm one of the founders and CEO of the Acaris Group. Um, I'm always happy to share knowledge and uh, ideas and also answer your questions. So please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn at the link below or with my ID, M. Kratke. Um, what I would like to cover today after a quick initial in introduction is um, a more practical overview of how to realize unified analytics and planning and a few real life examples and, and case studies. Initially, just a few words about us. Um, we were founded in 2007, initially with uh, our consulting arm in Agility that's focused on the implementation of analytics and planning um, environments. And uh, since 2015, with our own product range at Caris. We're at the moment one of the fastest growing providers uh, of unified analytics and planning solutions. We have uh, three headquarters uh, here in the US, in Chicago, uh, in Europe, in Munich, and um, in Sydney, Australia. We have currently a customer base that spans the globe, nearly every industry and size. Um, what we are doing with our product range at Caris is to overcome the challenges and limitations of uh, legacy disparate silo um, approaches where you had uh, separate solutions for the different aspects. So, you know, one planning tool, another data warehouse environment, another report writer, a data discovery and so on and so forth. So we believe that this creates way too much friction and maintenance and should be replaced as much as possible with a unified approach that overcome the limitation of complex source um, data uh, loading or moving data between different solutions with the limitations that uh, these silos often have, particularly in regards to integration into operational processes, uh, very extensive maintenance efforts. Very often what we see out there uh, that a lot of time and effort is spent on external consultants as opposed to um, the team in-house that can maintain these solutions. And then also um, missing functionality as these uh, separate silos typically are not very flexible to adapt. So we propose as a solution to that a unified approach that integrates all the aspects on a single unified data model uh, that caters for all the requirements. And in particular, the, the typical planning analytics cycle of initially setting the targets, monitoring the results, forecasting based on um, changes that uh, might be happening, uh, documenting the learnings, and managing tasks uh, in the process to uh, ensure that you achieve your targets. From a technology approach, this looks um, like this and covers these particular steps. So initially, it's about um, integrating uh, your data source, and that's the key thing for any analytics and planning project. You need to be able to um, get access to your data. Um, so that's the initial step where on the one hand we have completely automated solutions and the other hand generic solutions that load the data into a standard uh, database. And here we typically use Microsoft SQL Server respectively the SQL Server version in the cloud Azure SQL Server. That is extremely scalable, um, secure and um, already in use at most of our customers. So in many cases, that's already the platform for their existing data warehouse. And um, as opposed to uh, just covering this now theoretically, I would like to show you this now live. So here we see now um, our environment, the Acaris environment, the Acaris modeler, that's a, a cloud-based application where you can start a trial within a few minutes. 
And then you can either use the completely automated solutions. Um, for example, if you want to add QuickBooks companies, you just click on the Add button. That would automatically create the link to the, uh, in this case, QuickBooks environment, but it equally works for all the other sources from NetSuite, Salesforce, HubSpot, Xero, and many, many more. So it will automatically load all the data and then also give you the Power BI reports out of the box. So you will get um, something like this, depending on the um, source system, this varies. So you get automatically the Power BI reports implemented using best practice standards. And this could be general dashboard environments like this, where uh, we typically cater for multi-company requirements. So the users can load the data from a variety of different ERP systems. So here we can see um, five different ones. And the users can you know, look at a particular uh, company or a consolidated results of multi companies and you can see this automatically changes and then in the same vein they typically get a variety of other reports from you know, sales results profit and loss financial reports and, and many many others that support all the interactive capabilities um, that power bi provides so for example if i click on a particular data point here i can see immediately how this affect all the other items that i have um, in my report. So this is the initial um, integration for completely ready-made solutions. The other option is to use existing Power BI environments. So um, many of you might be already using Power BI in the organization. It's by far now the leading uh, analytics tool in the world. And they have reports like this that um, is connected to whatever source you're using. And this is now the other approach that we're offering, where we allow you to plan enable, respectively um, load the data from your uh, Power BI environment into a unified central platform by just specifying what uh, you would like to add to the unified model. And, so, and typically you want to do this for planning purposes. So for example, in this case here, we're using Microsoft Dynamics you want to, for example, use the chart of accounts for your planning requirements. And here you can see now this is the chart of accounts as it is set up in Power BI, where you can, of course, also use all the Power BI data transformation capabilities so to modify this to your particular needs. And then with just a click of a button, you add this to a Keras. And then that gives you the write back capability. So this will create a write back model, which is just another data source that you can add to Power BI, which is just based on normal standard SQL Server. And then you can just add the, the new planning table, for example, as a new scenario, into your existing Power BI environment. And then also do your planning directly from here. So if you want to, for example, now uh, for uh, forecasting purposes, change the, uh, the data here, incre increase, for example, your forecast, you can do this directly here on any level of the model. So here uh, in this sales group, I have a lot of other accounts underneath. I'm doing this for the entire group. So this would automatically modify my planning assumptions for the entire group for all sales accounts. So this just is a quick example of how you can connect Power BI data. And so you have now the data in this central standard SQL um, database. And what we are doing then is to add the planning logic. You saw a little bit um, before, but I will show you a few more examples in the next um, few minutes. So you have then the option to use this data, obviously from Power BI, but we equally support other environments. So we also have a, a read-write add-in, a very comprehensive one in Excel. So you can access the data directly from your familiar Excel environments, but without the hassle because everything is stored in the single platform, every user has access and will see the same data. And when you write back, the data isn't stored in the spreadsheet, but it's stored in the central database with all the capabilities. So you have an exact audit trail. You can see um, you know, who has done what. You have very detailed user rights. Um, and you can realize all the capabilities uh, that are typically required in the FPNA process, you know, from dashboards obviously in Power BI to data modeling that you can do directly in the Actaris modeler that you've seen before, 
uh, consolidation, then of course planning and forecasting. And this is what I want to show you now a little bit, what is possible in the planning space. So what we see here now is um, the normal Power BI environment with all the analytics functionality that Power BI provides. So if I, for example, click on a particular entity here, I can immediately see what's going on in that entity. Or if I click on another one, I can see the salespeople in that uh, entity. I can see the forecasts that have changed. I can look at particular details. So here I can see uh, my actuals are way above the plan. So I can have a look here what's going on. And they get now planning insights. So I can see what are the key drivers for this variance. And I can see my biggest variance is here the cost of sales in Adventure Work Cycle at the bottom where we've had originally a forecast of 300,000, but in the end it turned out to be 1.1 million. Uh, I also have um, more advanced options here for artificial intelligence insights. So here um, the system has automatically uh, identified interesting facts that are presented here to me so that this particular salesperson um, is very much above the rest and a few other interesting insights that the system has automatically identified here. So that's the, the typical Power BI analytics power. But um, what we're adding now here are the planning capabilities. So this is um, what the carries brings to the table, that in addition to all the analytics power, you can cover pretty much any scenario from a planning perspective, from typical financial planning, rolling forecast, artificial intelligence driven forecasting, driver-based planning, project planning, sales analytics, capital expenditure, HR, and many, many more. Um, I, won't, I won't go um, through all of them, but I want to show you uh, a few ones. So for example, we saw here, we had this issue that the cost of sales in adventure work cycle, um, our forecast was way too low. So what I can do is now here, I can drill down to the uh, particular detailed planning environments. So here I have now a form that shows the planning scenario where I can see now um, for particular time periods and for particular account groups. So for example, I can drill down here into particular detail accounts. I can drill down here into the quarter details. I already get color coding here where the user is allowed to write back. I can see what are the variances to the prior year periods. I can see the relative variance so that I can immediately see at a glance you know, where the things coming from. And we saw here the 300,000 um, that were initially forecasted here are way behind um, our actuals. So I can now adapt this on any level of the model. For example, I could go to the total quarter can see this is 900,000, but actually it needs to be about three times this. So I can now edit my forecast and say, okay, this is now, we need to uh, change this to uh, 3 million. So I can see this was changed now. And now um, I could also make some other assumptions that for example, overall my cost of sales given particular uh, environment factors are uh, not uh, enough. And I can change this now with a variety of um, planning functionalities to make it easier for me. So for example, this could be absolute additions to a particular number, relative changes, this could be filling out um, uh, until the rest of the period. For example, I want to have a price until the end of the year. Um, or I can do just a simple relative increase where I say, I think overall my cost of sales in that quarter will go up by 10%. Uh, immediately I can see what are the implications. Uh, I can see how does this change my KPIs and how was this uh, adapted to the lower level. So if I drill down here now I can see the 10% increase was automatically applied to the standard cost of sales and if I drill down to the month I can see equally that was um, adjusted here. If we go back to the main form and have a look, you know, I can immediately see that this was adjusted. So now our variance is, is uh, way less than it was uh, before, where um, I have simply um, not um, budgeted enough um, for the cost of sales. And equally, this would also work for sales. So for example, um, if I want to see, you know, where was this person particularly successful, I can see here, for example, 
In this case, the key driver came from a particular product where we initially hadn't had budgeted anything. Again, it's just a simple drill through to the sales planning. And I could adjust now um, this person's um, budgets on any level of the model as you've seen before. Uh, equally, uh, I can copy scenarios. So I could, for example, say I want to do my new forecast. I want to copy the forecast of the current quarter to the next one. I can add now as many conditions as I want. So, for example, I could say here I want to copy my um, actuals as the basis for the new forecast in the um, next quarter. Just save this, click on copy. And this will be automatically copied. And you saw this, this happened in seconds. And this shows a little bit the power of the uh, Ectaris uh, engine. And in a similar way, uh, you can do this now for any other planning requirement. So we could do this for you know, HR planning, where we have now very detailed um, HR requirements. So for example, we have uh, all our employees here with all their details. And I have now very um, comprehensive options to do the, the planning here. So for example, I could add new employees here with you know all the details uh, that they have. This is supported also by validation. So for example, I can only choose from existing um, types. I have date pickers here and I can then add these new employees here. I would immediately see what are the implications uh, with all the KPIs that I can do um, in Power BI. But all of this, you can see there's a lot of power here, but this also needs a bit of control. So everything that the users are doing here um, gets recorded. So um, if I go and this is just another Power BI report that links to the unified uh, table, I can see now all the transactions that all users have done. So for example, this particular user, this particular time, changed some data uh, in this particular way. I can filter this now in, uh, in any way I like. And also all the, the planning steps are limited by these um, governance features. Um, on the one hand, of course, the, the audit trail, the recording, but also the user rights. So you can exactly define you know, who is allowed to change what. And this will be automatically applied in all the visuals uh, that are used on the report. So in Actaris in, for Power BI uh, provides nine custom visuals that cover all these planning requirements. This could go from some uh, very unique options where you can do your planning uh, by drag and drop and just drag and drop the um, plan as you want to. You can immediately then see what are the implications. You can lock targets. I want to lock the 6665 target, but I still want to change a value. And you can see the other ones adapt automatically. So this is just a little bit um, of an overview of what's possible in a unified way. So the users are all working on the same single database uh, that is um, automatically generated from these source systems or from Power BI, uh, have all these planning capabilities, but also everything is governed um, so that you have clear transparency of what's going on. And the same thing also works uh, in Excel just very quickly. So if we look here at Excel, this is Dirk Terry's add-in. I can see now the same data model that you saw in Power BI, but I have now the option with all the Excel flexibility to do my plans here and send the data back to the database, all governed by the same um, workflows or be part of the same workflow where I can immediately see where are we in the workflow, who has submitted their budgets and so on. So this just is a little bit um, of an overview um, of what's possible um, with uh, unified planning. And I uh, just want to cover a few live examples uh, where we have implemented this approach. For example, the biggest, one of the biggest sports groups in the world have uh, re replaced their legacy uh, CPM applications with a unified SQL platform and Power BI. Uh, this um, uh, provided them seven-figure seven license figures just from a license cost perspective. And the entire um, application was nearly built uh, directly by their own teams. So we provide a little bit of guidance initially and our partners to help them get started. But then they did very complex landing cost and demand planning simulations themselves. Similarly, uh, a beverage group 
uh, in German, one of the uh, biggest in the world. Um, they had a failed attempt with another uh, solution that also integrates with Power BI, but didn't really work for them. Um, and they had a, a very tight deadline. They had to deploy a solution with very complex demand planning and discounts um, within two weeks. And this was achieved uh, not just that uh, the 30 subsidiaries were able to plan, but also uh, that they were in dramatically improving their financial reporting with all these analytics capabilities and the specialized Power BI visuals that Actaris provides for financial reporting. So this is it from um, uh, my perspective. Um, there's, uh, we have a few case studies as well that, that outline the savings and, and the potential. So if you're interested in that, please have a look at our website. And then the only thing left to me is if you're interested to try it out, please just go to our website, actaris.com. It really only takes five minutes to get started. And um, also, as I mentioned before, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact with me. Uh, and of course, also um, our teams around the world and our partners. We have now 32 plus partners across the globe and so really every major part of the world. And uh, these partners are certified and can provide um, you know, services around the platform and can also answer all your questions. And with this, I, I pass on to my team, Ezan and Darren, who's uh, running our operations in the United States and uh, they will be able to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much.